In this video, we will examine set membership and equality. Once we have described a set, the next logical question to ask is which objects should be included in the set and which should be excluded. Remember that for a well-defined set, there should be no ambiguity or confusion as to which elements are included in the set and which are not. For example, the set of all even integers can be written in roster form like this. Even though we have not explicitly written down the number 10, for instance, we know that 10 is an element of this set, since 10 mod 2 is 0, which means that 10 is even. Likewise, we know that 27 is not an element of this set, since 27 mod 2 is equal to 1, which means that 27 is odd. When an element is included in a particular set, we say that that element is a member of, or is in, that set. To denote this membership, we use a special symbol, which is a stand-in for the words is a member of, or in. When an element is not a member of a set, we draw a slash through the membership symbol, which is a stand-in for the words not a member of, or not in. Using the set and examples from the previous slide, we can write this, which translates to 0 is a member of the set of even integers. Likewise, we can write this, which is read as 27 is not a member of the set of even integers. Try determining if the numbers 110 and 359 are members of the set of even integers, and write this using the membership notation. Since 110 mod 2 is equal to 0, 110 is a member of the set of even integers, so we write this. Likewise, 359 mod 2 is equal to 1, so 359 is not a member of the set of even integers, and we can write this. In a previous video, we introduced the roster form notation for two important sets, the integers and the natural numbers. In roster form, the integers can be represented like this, which we usually abbreviate by a capital blackboard Z. Likewise, in roster form, the natural numbers can be represented like this, which we usually abbreviate to a capital blackboard N. While we reserve the use of blackboard characters for certain special sets, we can represent any regular set by a capital letter similar to how we use variables as lowercase letters. To use this notation, we first write down the capital letter of our choice, followed by the equal sign, and then the roster form notation for the set. Denoting a set with a capital letter allows us to use the letter every time we want to reference the set, instead of having to write the roster form every single time. To get some additional practice with membership and set notation, try the following examples. First, define the following three sets. Let A be the set of all positive odd numbers, let B be the set of all powers of 2, and let C be the set of all multiples of 3. Write each of these three sets using the capital letter given and the roster form notation and then determine if the following membership statements are true or false. Using the roster form, the sets A, B, and C can be represented like this. And here are the answers to the membership statements. The final topic for this video is set equality. We say that two sets A and B are equal if every element of A is a member of the set B, and if every element of B is also a member of the set A, in which case we write A is equal to B. Otherwise, we write A is not equal to B. For example, consider the following two sets A and B. To determine if these two sets are equal, we need to make sure that every element in A is also in B, and vice versa. The set A contains the elements 2, 7, 6, 1, and 4, 
and the set B contains the elements 1, 2, 4, 6, and 7. When listing the elements of a set, the order in which we do so does not matter. All of the elements in A are also elements of B, and all of the elements of B are also elements of A. So, the sets A and B are equal. As an example of two sets that are not equal, consider the set A and the set B, which is the natural numbers. The set A contains the element 0, while the natural numbers do not contain 0. Since A has an extra element, we say that the sets A and B are not equal. Here are some examples for you to try on your own. For each pair of sets, determine if A and B are equal or not. Here are the solutions for each of these example problems.